I, I wanted to, to focus on, on offshore for my initial rounds of questions, if, if I may. And I'll start, uh, uh, I'll, I'll start with you, um, Ms. Hopper. Uh, as you know, we, uh, we have the proposed Arctic rule, obviously, out there. Just one example of regulation affecting the offshore oil and gas uh, industry. But we also have other regulations that are out there. We've got the well control blow up preventer rule. We've got the proposed changes in the valuation of oil, gas, and coal that would be significant for our offshore facilities. Um, Senator Cassidy has introduced a, a bill that would require that the GAO report on the cumulative impact of regulations on offshore development. Does BOEM um, consider the cumulative impact of these rules, uh, not just on the operations, but on the value of the lease sales and, and the bonus bids? Thank you for the question, Madam Chairwoman. Um, we do, and we, when we issue our proposed rule, there is a regulatory impact analysis that is included with those rules, and um, we look at the impact of that rule. I, I do not believe that we look at the cumulative impact so of all the rules together. It, it would be important then with Senator Cassidy's uh, measure to, to look at that cumulative, because I do think that that is something that, again, we deal with on a, on a daily basis, whether it's talking about things like the, the hydropower licensing and, and some of the the overlay that we have with these with these regulations. I think this is where some of the costs and the delays uh, continue. Ms. Hopper, I was I was a little bit discouraged. No, I was a lot discouraged um, with your comments about uh, the revenue sharing issue. Uh, Secretary Jewell came before this committee uh, back in 2013, and she pretty much made a commitment to work with us to put together a bipartisan proposal with respect to revenue sharing that would bring everybody together. She said, these are her words, I'd be delighted to work with members of this committee on that important proposal. Um, I think revenue sharing is clearly a, a very important topic that deserves some attention from the Department of Interior as well as this body. So to, to hear your comments that effectively the, the way that you want to work with us is to redirect existing revenue payments from the, the revenue sharing plan that is in, in place for the Gulf, uh, not to the states that are impacted, but basically to, to pull the rug out from underneath the promise that was already made uh, is a little bit disconcerting. So um, we're going to have to have some, some serious discussion about how we can make good on the Secretary's promise to, to work with members of this committee to make sure that issues like revenue sharing um, are meaningful and do work for the people that are impacted, while at the same time allowing for that benefit to, to the taxpayer.